Kevin again from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. Uh, this video, we are going to look at the DEF system metering test. So this is a DEF pump test. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to look at the uh, the quality of the injection from our DEF injector. Also gives us a chance to collect the volume out of that DEF injector over a defined period of time uh, to check if it's if it's leaking or or plugged or if we have a maybe a potential pump performance issue. So we're going to go ahead and uh, connect to this uh, Detroit Diesel after treatment control module here. Uh, in this case, that's where we're going to find our DEF system tests. Um, our, our previous video on the, uh, the Cummins X15, uh, those tests were available actually through the Cummins ECM. So again, we can always use that search function. If we're looking for DEF related functions, you can see here, uh, I've got some in system checks and I got some in actuate components. Okay. So under actuate components, I have the ability here to actually actuate the coolant control valve. Um, that is in obviously actuate components, whereas the rest of my system checks, I will find, or let rest of my DEF testing, I will find under system checks. Okay. So under system checks, here's the add blue DEF metering. Um, here's the priming of the metering system. So this is the same test, uh, that we did on the Cummins, uh, module in the previous video here. Um, that would be the, the leak test. We, good opportunity for us to go through and see if there's any, any leakage. Uh, and then actually Detroit has an option here for component testing. So this will go through and test all the components of the DEF system, um, to make sure that they're, they're functioning properly. Uh, for this video, we're going to go through the DEF metering, uh, the, the DEF metering function. So uh, this again is going to check for the flow through the DEF system. Um, it's going to give us a, a measurement um, of 4.06 plus or minus. Um, so 120 plus or minus 18 mil. So we're looking for about 120 mil here um, out of this uh, out of this DEF injector over the over the time of the test, right? So this this test is going to run for a defined period of time, um, and then we're going to measure the the amount that we have available um, or have have collected in the uh, in the collection device. So uh, once we get all the information, we understand what we're looking for. Go ahead and hit the check mark. Make sure we've removed the DEF injector from the decomposition tube. Um, meet our requirements once again this is a four minute test uh hit the check mark and then uh we will see the test starts running so once again right we have an opportunity here to look at live data readings uh for this particular one um, we actually have a uh, a graphical um or a system display available okay so we are done the uh done the test uh timed out on me here uh let's do that one more time so i can show you the uh the live system display uh which is which is kind of handy when we're doing tests like like this uh regenerations def system testing that kind of thing um so again right there the live data or or system display function right we can see the values of our our def system um you know on a on a graphical display uh, essentially so um Nice, easy way, once again, to view the data. Um, after the fact, we can always view the results um, and actually even add this to our, we'll add this to our diagnostic report as well. Um, but uh, yeah, the results are always available there after the fact. Uh, same thing goes with the regen um, or a uh, uh, leak test. So um, there you have it. That's the DEF metering test. Uh, and, and again, make sure that you compare the volume to spec. Make sure you take a look at the DEF injector spray pattern. Uh, make sure that it is uh, a nice uh, misty um, uh, consistency uh, in order to get in, in order to ensure that we're getting the proper um, decomposition to, into ammonia in our decomposition tube. So uh, that's the metering test. Um, if you have any questions or anything, uh, just make sure you comment below. Uh, subscribe to us. Lots more videos on the way. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. We'll see you next time.